So we entered week 13 with an 11-0 record. And we're entering week 14 with 11-1 record. The Pittsburgh Steelers did hand us our first loss on the season. But luckily enough for us, we do get to go up against a struggling Jacksonville Jaguars team to turn things around in week number 14. Now, a reason why we lost the Steelers was because of the amount of turnovers we had. So it was important for us to get the ball on offense and, you know, really regain that confidence that we seemed to lose in Andrew Luck drove us right down the field and found Moncrief for the game's first touchdown. And that was it, man. The Jaguars really gave us no competition. We would go on to win by a final score of 28-3. Now, week 15, we're going to be taking on the Houston Texans that are led by quarterback Brian Hoyer. Now, the first time we played them, Brian Mallett was the starter. And the game really wasn't that close. So we'll see what Hoyer can do today. Now, for whatever reason, the first quarter, Frank Gore has received all seven of the carries. So when I got out there, I had to make sure I was making the most of every opportunity. I'm not sure if maybe it was just a matchup thing or if the coaches are starting to like Frank Gore's running style more than mine. Regardless, we found ourselves down 3 to nothing. Andrew Luck got us all the way down the two-yard line, and then I finished off the drive with pretty much an easy touchdown. Stanley Havali leading the way, and that was my 10th rushing touchdown of the year. Now, the big thing about getting 10 touchdowns is that it is a milestone and that's just going to be extra XP. Now, he forced the Texans two or three and out in their next drive. And Andrew Luck found me for a receiving touchdown. Now, I just absolutely destroyed Jonathan Joseph on that play and took that one the rest of the way. But the Houston Texans, man, they kept on fighting. And their defense was starting to pick things up. You guys see J.J. Watt chasing me down. And that time, Jonathan Joseph was able to bring me down. Here at second and eight, just an absolute blown coverage on their part they leave me wide open and I turn that into a huge gain for our offense later on third and ten I look to get to the outside and I have absolutely nowhere to go so Adam Vinatieri came on and he did make the field goal now luckily enough for us our defense was doing a good enough job to either hold the Texans to a field goal or really hold them to no points at all that's exactly what they did on that last drive here Andrew Luck really starting to look like the Andrew Luck from the first few weeks of the season. Getting some deep passes down the field. Here on second and seven, you guys see me fighting my way for another first down. There was an injury on that play. I want to say it was Jadavian Clowney that got hurt. Here at the 23-yard line, man, Andrew Luck just held on the ball for a little bit too long. Ends up getting sacked. So on third and 16, we decide to go with the handoff. And look at this, man. Just when it looked like we were going to get held to another field goal, I'm able to go ahead and pick that first down up. Now it's second and goal. I was lined up at wide receiver, but Andrew Luck, he's going to motion me back in. I'm going to take this one up the middle, but again, J.J. Watt was there to stop me. Here on third and goal, Andrew Luck isn't able to find anybody. So unfortunately, we did have to settle for a field goal, but that does put us up by a full touchdown. Now the Houston Texans, they weren't able to score. So with five and a half minutes remaining, a few first downs, and a field goal, would really seal this game up here in second and two there's one of the first downs and that's going to bring this clock all the way down to under four minutes here in second and seven again you guys just see huge running holes for me unfortunately i do get pushed out of bounds but after starting off with only 10 carries for 20 yards and my final 10 carries going for 70 yards that would help us go on to beat the houston texans by a final score of 23 to 13 now with that loss the Houston Texans their playoff dreams are pretty much over now one thing I noticed was right now the Miami Dolphins are leading the AFC East and tied with the Patriots are the Tennessee Titans now they were also tied with the Houston Texans but we beat the Texans now in this game if we beat the Dolphins and the Patriots win all of a sudden the Patriots take a hold of the AFC East and to make things even better in week number 17 we play the Tennessee Titans who are currently tied with the New England Patriots to get into the wild card playoff spot. So pretty much what I'm saying is if we win the rest of our games, we're pretty much letting the New England Patriots get into the playoffs. And that's the team that's beat us year after year. Now you guys see so far against the Dolphins, a team that should be, you know, bringing their A game, fighting for their playoff lives, has just played, you know, Pretty terrible to this point. The scoreboard does show 21 to 13, but I mean, we've pretty much dominated them in every aspect here on second and goal. Andrew Luck finding T.Y. Hilton for the touchdown, and that would go ahead and put us up two scores. And that was Andrew Luck's 40th touchdown 
of the season. Now you guys see in the fourth quarter, up by 15 points, and I just started to shred that Miami Dolphins run deep. You guys see six yards after contact. We would go on to beat the Dolphins. And yeah, that's exactly what happened. The Patriots won, the Dolphins lost, and now the Patriots are in first place. So in week 17, we play the Titans. Now if we beat the Titans, it doesn't matter what the Patriots do. That means they're getting in the playoffs, whether it's as division leader or if it's a wild card spot. So we could be ending our own season. If we go on to play the Patriots in the playoffs and they beat us, technically we could blame ourselves. But first, let's see if we can beat the Tennessee Titans. Here you guys see me going up the middle for another touchdown. I had three carries on that drive for close to 60 yards. So it definitely looks like this Titans run D is pretty weak. Let's see if we can take advantage. Here at third and seven again, it looked like it'd be an obvious passing situation. Instead, I take it for another first down. Third and three and just the same exact results, man. The Titans D, they just can't get us off the field. Here at third and goal, we decide to go with the Wildcat. I actually took the snap and Frank Gore took the handoff and he was able to go ahead and get in for the touchdown. Now this Titans team, all they had to do was beat us and they were in the playoffs. Instead, they just absolutely fell apart and we did not take our foot off the gas pedal. You guys see Andrew Luck just threw an absolute dot on that play right there to set me up for the touchdown. A few plays later, their offense didn't do anything with it. Here we are faced with a third and 18. And again, Andrew Luck executing another huge play. That was Dante Moncrief for an 82-yard touchdown. You guys see he brought out the LeBron celebration. So here we are in the third quarter, up by 21 points. And the goal on this drive is for me to get four carries and, you know, really take some time off this clock. So I'm like, okay, that'll be some easy XP that I can use for the playoffs. So here in second 14, I'm able to take the handoff left side for a nice pickup of about eight yards. So I'm only two carries away from completing the objective. Now third and six, I took this one up the middle. And little did I know I would end up taking that one for the touchdown. So unfortunately, I wasn't able to get the XP for completing our objective goal. But hey, I couldn't pass up on a touchdown like that. So in the fourth quarter, under four minutes remaining, again, man, just absolutely dominating this Titans defense. I mean, I felt like we were playing on like rookie or pro. And that touchdown right there was my 15th rushing touchdown of the season. And that's big because that is 4,000 XP that I can use in the playoffs. So unfortunately, the Titans are going to have to wait another year to see if Mariota can lead them to the playoffs. You guys see, I had my best game of the year, 26 carries. 232 rushing yards along with three touchdowns so in the next episode we do have a first round bye and we're going to be taking on the winner of one of the wild card games so in the next video I'll go ahead I'll show you guys who won all MVP and all those awards and everything I'll show you guys kind of like the playoff tree and we'll also go ahead and jump into the divisional round so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video until next time I'm TD Presents and I'm signing out